Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis, thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, oftentimes I get uh, called a conspiracy theorist on here, or when I talk about uh, what's happening or what is, where we're headed, I often get people tell me, this is crazy, it's, it's not that bad. That's not what they're wanting to do. They're not trying to create some global entity, this one government to rule them all, one currency to own all the world's wealth and to control you. They're not trying to put some kind of mark on your forehead and your hand. You're just crazy. That's, that's just not true. It's, it's all nuts. Well, my argument has always been, I'm not making this stuff up. In fact, all you have to do is just, you know, get on the interwebs and look up what they themselves are saying. Because they say it all the time. They make their agenda quite plain and clear. You, you don't have to make it up. It's, it's right there in front of you. And it's not like you could twist it and say, well, maybe you're just interpreting it wrong. Because <laughs> in the last couple of days, the World Government Summit was held in Dubai, and they flat out said and flat out called a new world order. I mean, <laughs> there, there's no mistaking that that's what's going on. I mean, you cannot, I believe at least, that you cannot look at all this and say, that's crazy, it's not a new world order. I mean, forget about it that, that Biden said that it's a new world order. Forget about it that that word has been used so many times. I mean, I'm sure even as I'm speaking this to you, YouTube has put up a little thing at the bottom to let you know that, uh, you know, this may not be correct information, that the fact checkers have, have, have checked this and, and well, a new world order really doesn't exist. That's just all a, a, a figment of your imagination. I want you to listen to the opening mark remarks from the world summit uh, that was just held a couple of days ago. Listen to this. And the title of this session, are we ready for a new world order? I, I mean, th that, that video is not edited. It's not doctored in any way. They're just flat out telling you that it's a new world order. That was the theme. That was the theme this year at the World Government Summit. I mean, just the name alone of the summit kind of makes you wonder. Uh, of course, it was attended by all the, the top world leaders. Uh, Prime Ministers, Kings, Sultans, CEOs of the biggest companies and presidents of world, uh, you know, dominating NGOs. Uh, they, they haven't, at least I haven't seen any information on the specific names of the attendees, uh, but they are bragging about that it's over 4,000 people attended there. And for those of you that send me messages and emails and post questions in the comments asking, well, when I say they, when I'm talking about those that rule, they are doing this. Who is they? I mean, who, who are you talking about? Well, those 4,000 people that attended this, that's a good place to start. Start by looking at those people because they fall into that they category. Of course, Klaus Schwab, you know, he's the president of the World Economic Forum, which is, of course, another big global entity uh, trying to rule them all. He attended and of course he spoke and he talked about uh well basically uh how their plan this this world domination new world order global digital one currency kind of plan well it's going to cause problems and they don't he said that they don't know exactly yet the the full ramifications of all this but they do know they do know that it's going to affect markets, it's going to affect food supplies, it, it, it's going to affect things, it's going to affect the economy. Listen to this, they've just flat out told you. We do not yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. Now, if some of you might say this, and I too am wondering, that video almost looks like it's CGI. I'm no expert in that at all, but I, I don't know. But anyways, that's the official video released from the World Government Summit. Um, 
they, they, they flat out are wanting to do this. I, I was looking on their website and the, the website and the, the videos that I watched and the information that I read is, is completely filled with phrases like the new normal. Yes, we've been hearing that for two years now, that this is the new normal and establishing it. Uh, phrases like uh, the 2050 agenda and 2030 agenda and, and, and having the, the things change by 2030 and by 2050. Uh, they've talked about how by 2050, the majority of the Earth's population will live in big cities, these big super cities that, that are being built or will be built. Uh, it talked about extensively on the net zero carbon emissions. Yes, that's the plan that wants to cause you to not be able to drive your car anymore. Get rid of carbon emissions. Why? I mean, you know, maybe if gas prices went up a little bit higher, some of you just may not be able to afford to drive it anymore. I mean, you've heard statements from the White House and even the president himself today that why, you know, you could save $80 a month if you just drove an electric car. I mean, sell that $5,000 car that you've owned for 10 years and go buy you a $100,000 electric vehicle and save $80 a month. I mean, it's it's a brilliant plan. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's financial geniusness. This is part of their plan. They wanna restrict your movement uh, they want you to drive little tiny electric vehicles. They, they don't want you to be flying all over the place. I mean, they will be able to. They will still be able to fly, but you won't because you'll be restricted into your little, little apartments in the big cities. Yes, I talked about this in the previous video today, um, that, that you won't own anything. Uh, you, you won't own your home. Uh, I've watched videos from them where they even talk about the fact that you wouldn't even own something as, 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 as simple as appliances. Uh, World Economic Forum put out a video and they, they were talking about how uh, just simple appliances you wouldn't own. And when you needed them, all you would have to do is get on your phone and order one and it would be delivered by drones or by robots uh, and it would be a small package thing that you would just use in your home until you're done with it and then they would come and you know, the little AI robots would come and pick it up. It, this sounds like some crazy dystopian sci-fi Hollywood film. Except that is what they want, okay? Now will it happen or not, I can't guarantee you, but I can tell you that's what they want to implement. Uh, they also want to implement digital currency, which I talked about in the last video that I made just this morning. I know that there's still some that believe that it's not going to happen, that it's just all talk. But folks, they are pushing hard for this. The White House, the Treasury Department, the Federal Reserve, uh, people in both parties, Republicans and Democrats in Congress, are pushing for this digital currency. In fact, there's very, very little resistance, okay? It's not one of those things that um, only the extreme left or the extreme progressives are wanting. This is something that just about everyone is pushing for. So it makes me believe that it is going to be implemented. Uh, they're wanting to implement a digital dollar. This is not Bitcoin. This is not some cryptocurrency that can't be tracked and that's very secure. This is something that they control. They control the value of it. They control how much you have of it. And they control what you can do with it. And they monitor you every step of the way. And this is something that's going to be implemented soon. Listen to this person here at the um, World Government Summit. She is also, interesting enough, a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. And I'm going to play this little clip where she's talking about digital currency and listen to what she says about the U.S. We're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights. But what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the question is, will that new system of digital money and digital accounting 
accommodate the competing needs of the citizens of all these locations so that every human being has a chance to have a better life. Because that's the only measure of whether a world order really serves. Notice how she said that we're on the brink of it. We're almost there. We're getting ready to implement it. And that this is part of the new world order. She says that at the end. She makes it very clear that this digital currency is a big part of the new world order. Now, there's some of you that don't believe in the good book, you know, that thing called the Bible. And while this isn't gonna be a preaching video, I'm gonna tell you this, it's usually correct. History has proven it correct over and over and over again. And it very clearly says that in the last days, this kind of thing's gonna happen. So folks, beware. This digital currency stuff, this new world order, global government, world economic forum, zero carbon emissions, control of the global food supply. You're not gonna eat meat, you're gonna eat bugs. You won't own anything and you'll be happy because we tell you to. This isn't a conspiracy, folks. This isn't something that's being planned to happen decades or centuries in advance. This is something that they are implementing as I speak. And within the next eight to 12 months, I'm gonna tell you folks, the landscape of this planet and this country are going to look very different. It's not gonna be the same. You are watching our civilization collapse and die away while they are building up a new civilization in its place. That's what they're planning. Folks, get your houses in order, I'm telling you. I don't see any other way to avoid this other than just being as self-sufficient as possible and building up a communities around yourself of, of people that you trust and that you know and that also are self-sufficient and, and that, that uh, you know, work together to, to avoid all this. Just yesterday, my wife and I met with someone else uh, in, in this area. And we talked about this, of how to barter and trade. My wife has been talking to another family. Uh, and, and this is something that you need to be doing because it's coming at us. You may not like it. You probably don't agree with it, but that doesn't matter. You're not the one in charge. It's happening and now they're doing it right into your face. They're doing it right out in the open. They're not even hiding it. It's that close, folks. Get your houses in order. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and especially spiritually. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.